मिल्क एंड हनी बाय रूपी कौर इज दिस फेरी पोइट्री आई एम बैक विथ येट अल अदर ऑफ माई रैंड रिव्यूज and today i am going to talk about milk and honey by rupi kaur so i am going to share in detail what my thoughts of this book were stay tuned speaking of poetry my own book which is devdar ke phool it's a collection of poetry in hindi a collection of poems in hindi that's out guys it's launched and it's available on amazon in ebook and paperback formats so if it's something that you find interesting that is uh, you know hindi poetry is something that interests you go ahead Buy your copy there. I shared the links for the same in the description box below. Milk and honey lacks everything that makes a good poetry. It doesn't have the craft. It doesn't have the richness of language. It doesn't have the choice of words. It doesn't have ideas. It doesn't have thoughts. It doesn't have emotions. It lacks all of these important elements of a good poetry big time. This book talks about some real time issues. some personal experiences that the author herself had gone through but guys i write that all the time in my musings that i write over my blog can i call that poetry no i can't those are musings and that's exactly what is captured in this book it looks like the diary of a lonely writer the next thing that i don't understand is the construct the structure the flow the lines are kind of broken down to make a paragraph at most <laughs> these lines are like personal quotes you can call them poetry that's your personal life experience great awesome you're trying to inspire people you know you're trying to share your thoughts you're trying to share your life history your life story bravo you've got the courage to go out and do that tell people what you've gone through and that's something that is it not everybody can do that but please oh please don't call it poetry you know write a non fiction book rather you know throw your heart out to throw your life out into that book call it a memoir and share it i will i will i will accept it another thing that i wanted to talk about were those silly illustrations that barely managed to fill the book first of all on one page there are like four or five sentences that's all i mean these are not even sentences because that's barely like two three words in a line and then somewhere towards the bottom there are like these minuscule stupid <laughs> illustrations uh, you know and for all i know these are probably just vectors picked off you know some stock image website and that's it so for about 200 odd pages this book hardly has any meat forget about ideas and thought those just don't exist but it doesn't have any meat those illustrations don't help you to understand or get inside the psyche of the poet the writer and all so those don't help i Yes, I would be wrong to say that nothing works at all. There were some pieces that kind of stick with you, that stay with you a little longer compared to the other pieces, because these are rooted in the author's personal, previous experiences. And uh, yes, those tend to move your heart, but that's the extent of it. They manage to do nothing else. and eventually i think what i want to talk about is people calling it a great sensation in poetry a great movement in poetry you know where do these people get these ideas from please go out there please read some of frost please read uh, you know sylvia plath please read ruskin bond maybe please read these other poets and then choose the words choose th- the thoughts that you're giving out to your readers choose what you convey This is not poetry, and it definitely isn't a movement. It isn't a sensation at all. Poetry is supposed to move you. It's supposed to inspire you to do something differently. It's supposed to call out a message. None of these pieces do any of that. At most, these are a person's musings, and and that's all. So, a sincere request to all of those people that do not, you know, just unnecessarily overhype a book. Don't over promote a book. then there literally is nothing inside it learn to be honest with your readers if for poetry lovers like me this book is a blasphemy and i'm not even kidding guys so that's all i really wanted to talk about when i think of milk and honey by ruby call um i am not at all interested in reading any of her other books even if i get them as gifts even if i get them for free it doesn't matter i'm not going to read any of those books 
unless I you know come across some pieces of her work over the internet that are promising enough and and that appeal to the poetry lover. That's about it. I wanted to be absolutely candid, honest with you about this book so that you make your decision wisely. You're going to invest your precious time, so you should know what you're investing your time into. If you still want to read the book, I appreciate it. Please go ahead read it and come back and let's have a good hearty chat about this book. Have you watched the whole video? How did you like it? Do not forget to hit on the like button. I'm going to be coming up with a lot of rant reviews because of late I've been reading a lot of these overhyped books. Uh, uh, for a change, I just decided to read, uh, you know, overhyped books and go out of my pattern and you know, like just grab these novels that I keep seeing on Instagram and stuff like that all the time. So I'm going to come up with a lot of rant reviews because a lot of disappointment around, guys, and a lot of fake reviews and you know, misleading reviews. So I want to set, uh, I want to kind of bring out a balance. So we are going to do that a lot. Stay tuned to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Also hit on the bell icon. I'll see you soon again in the next video. Until then, be reading these. Bye. Goodbye.